Hi guys, it's Kita here. This is my very first blog post um, before the Live Below the Line campaign. I just thought I'd log on so you can put a face behind the name and also so I can have a bit of a chat with you about what's going to be going on next week. So the campaign starts on Monday. And if you haven't already heard, I'm living on $2 a day for an entire week. So I've personally chosen to go the full seven days just so I can see how not only it affects me during the week while I'm at uni, but also how it affects my weekend. So considering I'm on such a tight, tight budget, I'm thinking that this weekend, um, the weekend, not this weekend, but the weekend following when the campaign's on, um, I'll be doing a lot of study considering that my options are pretty limited. Otherwise, hopscotch is a definitely great idea. Maybe. <laughs> so, um, $2 a day for an entire week. Absolutely scared about the prospect of having such a limited diet for an entire week. Um, $2 a day doesn't mean a lot of food, nor does it mean a very big variety. So I'm trying to mix it up a bit with as much as I can. So um, ingredient ideas for the week so far include vermicelli, rice, chickpeas, maybe some canned tuna, um, and also if I can, just some bargains at the market with fresh fruit and vegetables so I don't, you know, die from a lack of vitamins or minerals. Won't happen, but yeah. <laughs> Um, basically, if um, you guys would like to donate and sponsor me, um, you can find um, all the credit card details and things on my website, which is everydayhero.com.au forward slash Keita, spelt K-E-Y-T-A. There'll be a link on the YouTube page, but also on my Facebook. So if you have any questions or any queries or want to show some support or donate, all the links will be there and I'd love to hear from you. And if you've got any menu ideas, that'd be even better because I'd absolutely love some variety while I'm doing it. Um, if you haven't already heard, all the money that's going to be raised is going to our Cambodia project. Um, the first couple of thousand that we've already raised as a collective group has gone towards the Yanga School in PNG. Both of these projects are with the Oak Tree Foundation. And because of the amazing success of the campaign so far, we've been able um, to completely fundraise um, enough money for the youngest school and now moving on to our new education project in Cambodia, which is supporting youth so that they can get an education. Um, if you'd like more information, you can find that on the Live Below the Line website, which is www.livebelowtheline.com. Um, on top on the website there's also a few menu ideas a little bit of history about how it's all started and also um, our top fundraisers and you can track how we're all going as a complete group so we've got a ton of people doing the campaign so it's nice to be part of something that's so big and so effectual um, I'd love to hear from you all please send me through your menu ideas before Monday because I'm going to need to do the big shop on Friday um, either this week or on Sunday if I'm lucky and I find some time because I'm pretty busy. Um, I'll also be blogging the whole way through Live Below the Line, um, both written and probably more video, but you'll be able to keep up to date on how I'm feeling, how much my tummy's rumbling. <laughs> so um, some reflections and thoughts to come and also some menu um, updates. So keep keep up to date and if again if you'd love to donate and help me reach my target of $250 I'm um, like you can reach it or you can either give me um, some money through credit card on the on the website which is everydayhero.com forward slash Kita spelt K-Y-T-A and also you can give me some cash if you find me around uni or in Melbourne on the weekend um, and I can add that to my tally. So love to hear from you all. Please send through any ideas that you've got. And I guess I'll be speaking to you soon. See ya.